Okay, so here we are. Um, you have to pardon me today. I'm trying me theatrical voice. We're going to go over the answers for physics visual math diagrams number one. So I will click resume. And a little reminder for you. I know this looks like a quiz, but it's not. It's just an assignment. I just used the quiz maker because the quiz maker grades itself and it gives you, because it grades itself, it gives you feedback instantly instead of me having to look them over. So you don't have to wait for me to get your feedback. Feedback is finding out whether you're right or wrong. So it says click on the symbol that represents the angle between where the boat was originally aiming and uh, aiming for, I don't even understand what myself wrote, uh, originally aiming for versus where it ended up. So as you can see here, the boat originally was pointing at this spot across the river, but because the river's pushing it to the side, it ends up drifting downstream. And this here, this little symbol, traditionally in any diagram, if you see this little symbol, that represents the angle. So click it, right, because it says represents the angle. Okay, so now we say next. Let's go to that next question. I wonder if I'll get tired of talking like this before this video is done. Which vector is the resultant of the combination of water and boat vectors? The boat vector is this one, and you can tell because the boat's pointing in that way, right? And then this is the water vector, and the result of this and that is this. I don't know how else to make it easier. Click it. And by the way, if you know this is the right answer, don't click up here because at some point I, I cut it off. I have to, I have to define an, a region and... Typically, I, I draw it to here and then I slice it off because I don't want somebody who thinks it's this vector to click right here and, and get tangled up with the answer. So click somewhere in the middle and you'll be safe. Just giving you good advice. Okay, this one's a little tricky. It says, what is the resultant of the wind and plane vectors? I used to fly a fighter jet for the Royal Air Force. Not really, but I wanted to say that since I'm speaking like a Briton. All right, so notice how the plane is angled. It looks like it's pointing in the same direction as this here. Well, that's because the, that is the plane's vector, right? It's actually trying to go this way because of the wind. It ends up pushing it over this way. So this is this is the resultant this time, which is a little odd because usually it's the diagonal, the hypotenuse. But because of the way the wind, it's just the way this worked out. This is the result. And you can tell. You can tell that the plane is actually pointing this way. I was on a plane once that landed sideways like this because it was actually in Medford. I couldn't believe how windy it was. Anyways, it was kind of scary because the plane hit the ground, turned to the side a little bit like this, and it had to, it kind of sloshed back and forth. And I thought we might die, but we didn't. All right, click on the x axis. That's just this line down here. So you can click anywhere on it. But once again, if you know this is where you're supposed to click, don't click like way over here. Because at some point, I have to stop drawing the rectangle. And if you click over here, you're starting to get in danger. Danger. So click somewhere in the middle. Say next. All right. Which vector's been caused by the plane? This one. Um, and I guess if you want to be super accurate, click right on it. Because like I said, some of you got it wrong because you clicked a little sloppy, like over here, or over there. Click on the diagram where the Y component of the green vector would go if it was shown coming out to the point of origin for the green vector. This is the point of origin. 
and it says y component so remember if the sun was setting where would the shadow hit the wall it'd be somewhere like right there bingo uh click on the diagram where the x component of b would go if it was shown coming from the point of origin of b so the x component which means that we're talking about like the ground shadow and i specifically say if it were shown coming from the point of origin of b so that would be like if this is the point of origin of b the x component would be this way right here about that long so i'm gonna click right in the middle the middle if that's how you're supposed to say it when you're from where i'm from okay click on the diagram where y component of a okay y component of a would be right here right uh imagine it coming out to the point of origin of a so it would be right here it wouldn't be over here because i said it would you could put it over here but i did say imagine it coming out to the point of origin of a so it goes right there you got it silly boy click on the diagram with a resultant vector okay uh that sounds like an incomplete sentence that's weird because i wrote it click on the diagram where the resultant vector would be i should say anyways it's this right here because this is the y component this is the x component it's even labeled that way for you i should redo that question in a complete sentence according to the magnitude of the vectors velocity vectors the size of the the arrows which is moving the fastest the river or the boat so far i haven't gotten tired of using this accent have i it's like a marathon uh let's see which is moving the fastest the river or the boat well the boat vector is clearly longer than the river so the boat click the boat and give yourself a pat on the back click on the diagram where the y component of b would go hmm. y component of b uh, if it was coming from the point of origin of b so out of here would be the y component so just click right there and move right along moving right along click on the diagram where the resultant vector of a and b so a and b would result in a vector that goes like this i believe that's pretty good i'm gonna use my ruler to make sure anyways let's go boom all right click on the diagram x component of a coming out of the point of origin of a x component would be the ground so like a shadow underneath this okay click uh which of these three vectors would best result uh, represent the resultant i would say this labeled r it's labeled r because resultant starts with letter r i don't know how big a hint you need to get that one right which part of the diagram represents how far downstream the boat will have drifted well it was aiming right here and it ended up right there so x this whole thing right here is the answer how far downstream okay next when's this thing gonna be over I've already answered 18 questions. Click on the vector arrow that would rep best represent or be equal to the x component of vector r. So it, if we were trying to find the x component of, of vector r, it would be exactly like a. So click a. Boom. Click on the diagram where the x component of vector green vector would go x component of green vector so this is green vector the x component would be right there like a shadow if the sun was shining down good job me click on the vector that would best represent or be equal to the y component of r yeah if i said coming out of the point of origin then you'd want to click over here but it just so happens that b is exactly what the y component of r would be in fact that's kind of what they're demonstrating in this they're saying r r 
how do I do my British R? R is equal to A plus B, so this plus that. So B is the Y component of R. Submit. Okay. Now we get to see whether I'm smart or not. It'll be so embarrassing if I miss one. And I'm sure I'll make up a story of why I missed it since I made these questions. Shouldn't miss any. So correct, 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 correct. Whoop, this one didn't have... Oh, this is the multiple choice, isn't it? Correct, 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 correct. I gave you such good advice. Look at that. I should buy myself a... A birthday cake or something. Box of donuts. I don't want to buy a box of donuts. I'll buy me a guitar. See you later. Cheerio.